Hello! So ngayon, ang objective natin, find the general formula or rule for the nth term of a sequence. So given ang mga sequence, gagawa tayo ng general formula base sa given na sequence. So bago tayo makagawa ng general formula, we have to consider the three kinds of a sequence. So, number one, if the sequence has first common difference, use the linear equation. So, ano ang linear equation? So, ito yung may formula na an plus b is equal to a sub n. So, tingnan natin yung example. So, is this linear or quadratic? 4, 7, 10, 13. So, you have to subtract from right going to the left. 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. So, therefore, yung nature ng sequence na ito, is linear. So, gagamit tayo ng linear equation. Again, the first differences are the same. Next, if the sequence has a second common difference, use the quadratic equation. So, pag quadratic ang nature niya, ito naman ang gagamitin mong formula an squared plus bn plus c is equal to a sub n. Now, let's proceed to number 2. So, kanina yung nakuha natin is linear. Let's see the sequence for this example. So, you have 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 17. So, mag-subtract tayo, 17 minus 12, 5. 12 minus 8, 4. 8 minus 5, 3. 5 minus 3, 2. 3 minus 2, 1. So, nakita natin, yung first differences niya ay hindi pare-pareho. Now, let us check naman yung pangalawang difference. 5 minus 4 is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay, so this time, pare-pareho na yung second differences. So therefore, the given sequence is quadratic in nature and we will use the quadratic equation. Ano naman yung pangatlong sequence natin? If there is no same difference in a sequence, so you have to rewrite each term using a common number, relate the number of terms on each number. So you have 5, 25, 125, 625. So if you're going to subtract 625 minus 125, the answer is 500. 125 minus 25, your answer is 100. Then, 25 minus 5, that is 20. Subtract mo uli. So, hindi pare-pareho. So, sa pangalawa, hindi pa rin pare-pareho. So, this sequence is not linear or not quadratic in nature. So, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung dalawang formula. So, again, ibang rules ang gagawin natin dyan. And we will discuss it later on. So, focus tayo sa linear. Okay, suppose that the sequence is 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. So, what is the general term or the end term of a sequence. So, subtract. And that is 2. You can see the same. 
So what is our first difference? And that is 2. Since the difference is constant, which is 2, again, the general term is linear in nature, and it takes the form of linear equation. So how to solve it? Ito na tayo. So you have to remember the equation a n plus b is equal to a sub n. So our step one, choose two values of n with a corresponding a sub n. So pili ka lang ng dalawang term. Then, gawa tayo ng equation 1 and equation 2. So, let us first identify ano ba yung napili natin. Siyempre, yung first term. At saka yung second term. So, n is equal to 1 and a sub n is 7. Sa second term naman, n is equal to 2, a sub n is equal to 9. Again, gagamitan mo siya ng linear equation. Ano yon? A n plus b is equal to a sub n. Now, i-substitute mo lang yung value ng n sa kanong a sub n. So, a times 1 plus b is equal to 7. So, meron na tayong equation 1. So, gawa naman tayo ng equation 2. Our n is equal to 2 and a sub n is equal to 9. So, gamitin again yung formula. A n plus B is equal to A sub n. Then, substitute the value. Yung n mo is equal to 2. That's why we have A times 2. Then, yung B mo, copy lang. Then, your A sub n is 9. Simplify mo. A times 2, 2A two plus B is equal to 9. So, we have now equation 2. So, again, we have now the equation 1 and equation 2. So, punta na tayo sa step 2. Subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Two a plus b is equal to nine. Ito yung ating equation two. Then a plus b is equal to seven, and that's our equation one. Subtract na tayo. Two a minus a is a. B minus b, makakansel yon. Then nine minus seven is two. So bakit natin sinol to get the value of a. So, our A is equal to 2. Then, step 3. Substitute the value of A in equation 1 to solve for B. Okay, so, ang equation 1 natin is A plus B is equal to 7. So, palitan mo lang yung value ng A. We have now 2 plus V is equal to 7. Then, to get the value of B, magsusubtract ka ng 2 both side of the equation, right and left. So, minus 2 sa kaliwa, minus 2 sa kanan. That is SPE, Subtraction Property of Equality. And your answer is B is equal to 7 minus 2 and that is 5. And the last step. Since meron na tayong A, which is 2, 
And B natin, which is 5, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula. Just substitute. We have 2N plus 5 is equal to A sub N. So, this is now our answer. So, let us now recall these steps. Step 1, make two equations. Equation 1 and equation 2. So, pili ka ng dalawang term para makagawa ka niyan. Step 2, subtract equation 1 from equation 2. To solve for A. Step 3, substitute the value of A in equation 1 para masolve mo naman yung B. At yung last step mo, since you have the value of A, which is equal to 2, and the value of B is equal to 5, so substitute mo lang yun sa linear equation na formula. Yung A, at, yung A at saka yung B. Then, you can have now your final answer. Therefore, the general term of the sequence 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17 is a sub n is equal to 2n plus 5. Ito na yung pinakasagot natin. Find the general term or n term of the sequence 4, 7, 10, 13. So I hope you understand the lesson for this day. Thank you.